Yo guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about The Beekeeper, the first movie of 2024. Alright, so The Beekeeper is the first movie of 2024, the first January release, and we all know the reputation of January releases. Well, for me in Belgium, it's okay, because January of each year mostly is just the shit movies from 2023 and other years. But it's also the year for the Oscar contenders. It's also the month of the Oscar contending movies. So I watched quite some good movies already. But I also watched The Beekeeper. And I have seen other scores and other people talking about The Beekeeper. And those scores all are pretty mediocre. And I agree with that. Because The Beekeeper feels like this nostalgia trip through 90s action movies but it forgot what it was midway through i mean it's a movie starring jason statham and with him you always know what you're gonna get it's like the man never does something else if jason statham is on screen you know bodies are gonna drop mostly by him that is in this movie no difference he murders a lot of people but i am kind of done with it i mean it's still entertaining to watch him go berserk on somebody but please give me a movie where the main character the action star jason statham for instance also get beat gets beaten up significantly there's just a movie with Jason Statham starring, where Jason Statham beats a lot of people, but never gets a hit back. And I know in the end of the movie, he does get a few hits in, no spoiler, because, well, you better fucking hope he does. <laughs> but he, yeah, it's not like there are any stakes, and that's where this movie went wrong. Because in the beginning, it doesn't matter. The movie knows what it is and the movie doesn't take, it, take itself too seriously. So you don't care when he doesn't get a single hit against his own body. It's because it's over the top. It's supposed to be dumb. It's supposed to be this weird version of a reality where beekeepers are actually secret agents far over the FBI, killing people and never stopping with a lot of bee puns intended because god there are a lot of bee puns but somewhere in the middle of writing this movie the writers thought they had this fantastic idea that they needed to build upon and they made the second half of this movie as serious as they could to get a serious action movie the only problem with that idea is is that the movie idea to begin with was shit so if you, if you make it serious, you just take away all the fun of the shit movie you were otherwise going to have. And now what you are left with is a fun first half where Jason Statham bullies a lot of people and hits a lot of people. And the other half of the movie is this serious action thriller that is just laughable because of the bad script, the bad characters, the bad acting, and just the bad action overall the second half of this movie repeats what the first half did just a lot more serious a lot more less interesting and a lot less funny apart from this one scene where jason statham actually gets a fist in his face because that shit was the most riveting fight of every fight in this movie it was the fight that got me the most because he there were stakes in that fight but it only lasted 20 seconds or so so yeah, The Beekeeper, I thought it was pretty damn bad. I gave it a 4 out of 10, it's not my cup of tea, it's not what I expected. I expected something bad, but at least I hoped I was gonna get fun with this. I didn't, sometimes you're just not gonna get what you want. So the first movie of 2024 sadly is a stinker. Alright, what did you think of this movie? Please let me know in the comments down below because I'm really excited to hear your opinion on it. I want to thank you for watching. Bye bye.